Okay, so in the previous videos we saw that we could have a, say, a, a force, a vector, and we can actually resolve it into any two axes, any two directions that we choose, for example. But if that's, we choose that as x, and um, we choose that as, say, a, and we use, remember we use the parallelogram method, so we from the tip a line parallel to that line until it cuts that line and then we've got that component there from the tip parallel to the other one until it cuts and then we've got so we've got um, f a and we've got say f x in this case although really we shouldn't call this f x because it's not the x really the x component we can just let's call that b okay so a and b so the point is that you can have this this force, this vector, and you can resolve it into any two axes that's convenient. Okay? So remember, say now there was, uh, say there's a cable in this direction and a cable in that direction, and we wanted the, res the, the, the vector sum. Uh, or say now we've got this force here, but we want, we want to know what two forces, what force along the A direction and the B direction do we need so that we can get this vector sum, okay? So we can resolve this into any uh, components we choose, and, but it was, and it always obeys the parallelogram rule, okay? But the most common resolution is simply your X and Y, your rectangular components, okay? Rectangular components meaning along the x direction and y direction. So you can take that exact same force, but now, uh, now, let's look at what happens along the the uh, x and the y. Okay, so now we can call that x and y. Now we parallel to that one until it cuts this axis, and so there's your fx and then parallel to um, parallel to this one until it cuts that one and there's your fy and that's exactly what's happening here so now we have resolved this force this this force into its x and y directions okay Okay, so this is what we have. The force, um, remember in bold, it means it's a vector, is equal to x, fx plus fy. These are vectors, okay? Um, another way of writing these are in terms of the i's and j's, unit vectors. We can write it f, the, the vector f is equal to fxi plus fyj. fx and fy are the scalar components, okay? And i and j, of course, are the unit vectors. Unit vectors. i and j, again, i is just a unit vector in the x direction, and j is the unit vector in the y direction. And if we are looking for, say, the magnitude of f, what is the size? What is the magnitude of this force? It will be fx squared plus fy squared square root. If we're looking for fx, then it'll simply be the magnitude of f cos theta. If you're looking for fy, f sine theta. And if you're looking for that angle, right, that angle, it would be, if that is fx and that was fy, then that theta would be arctan of fy divided by fx. Okay? Now, I think let's stop there. In the next one, we will look at conventions for describing vector components.